Good morning, everybody. Gratitude. Hope everybody's doing well. We're doing great. Another beautiful day here. Starting to warm up nicely. I'm going to take you on a wee walk with me. Today's video is going to be about um, emotional dumping. And I think it's a very important topic. And sometimes people are not aware that this is happening to them. And uh, I'm going to talk a wee bit about it today, maybe explain a little bit about what it is and uh, the consequences of it. So emotional dumping is when you are around someone, could be a family member, a friend, a partner, could be in a work environment, it could be anywhere, it could even happen to you, you know, when you're on a bus or <laughs> in a shop, in a supermarket or something, you know. It's amazing the places that people will try and emotionally dump on you. But so basically, emotional dumping is when someone who's experiencing problems in their own life and they're either not willing to look at them and resolve them themselves or sometimes it can happen and they're totally unaware of what they're doing um, but you'll see this a lot in people who are unhealthy individuals but quite a lot of the time it happens because people want you to fix their problems. They want you to um, solve their problems for them. But it's a kind of a contradiction in itself because what happens is even if you were to give that person advice, even if you were to... Come on, Luna. Even if you were to um, sit down and think, oh, well, you know, this is what I've experienced and this is what helped me and maybe it would help you. That individual won't do anything about it. They won't apply the things that you've said that would have been helpful Or they'll just sort of have this attitude about them where no matter what you say, it'll be like, ach, no, but no, you know, there'll be an excuses. There'll be, a, oh, yeah, but that wouldn't work. Or you'll always find that they'll have some sort of reason as to not apply it. Now, what happens in emotional dumping is... You'll be with someone, either a friend, family member, as I said, it could be a work environment. And what they'll do is they'll come over to you and they'll start to talk about their problems. And it'll be very unhealthy. So it'll be some sort of drama. They could be going on, you know, bitching about their husband or gossiping about other people, maybe their friends or family members, showing very toxic, unhealthy um, patterns. So you could be sitting with someone, you could be, say, out with a friend. I'll just give you an example. You could be out with a friend or out with a family member. You meet up for a coffee. You know, you're looking forward to sitting and enjoying a nice lunch or something like that. And the next thing, you start to talk. But the whole conversation becomes dominated by them. And it'll usually be something very negative and quite harmful. So some sort of issue they're having in their life. 
And sometimes that issue mightn't even be a, a, a big thing at all. It, it, it could be like in your eyes, something that would be very easy to sort of solve. But what happens is the whole conversation becomes about them. And even if you try to offer a solution, or even if you try to change the subject, they'll just keep bringing it back to the same thing. And what ends up happening is, sometimes these things can take off very quickly. And before you know it, you're being dumped on and you've not even realized it's happened. But this has a very negative impact on you. And what you'll tend to find is, if you look at that individual, you'll tend to find that every time you meet up with that person, whether it's a co-worker or whether it's a family member or a friend, it's always the same thing. That at some point in your meeting, they start to emotionally dump their problems on you. And no matter what you do, and no matter what you say, they carry on doing it. Emotional dumping is very unhealthy. It's very unhealthy for you because what happens is, you t- even though you mightn't be feeling uncomfortable at the time, you could be feeling uncomfortable, but sometimes you mightn't be. And it's only when you leave that environment and you go maybe back home or go back to your work or whatever you're doing, get in your car, you feel drained, totally drained. And you're like wondering, God, I feel exhausted. Why do I feel so exhausted? I feel like I could go for a nap. Or what can happen is what's happened in my case, in my past, is I've went out that morning to meet that person and I've been in great form I felt good felt happy and after meeting that individual I've left feeling very negative feeling down and I'm sort of sitting there wondering God why do I feel so down why do I feel like I've got the world on my shoulders and the reason that you feel that way is because you've just been emotionally dumped on and what's happened is all that negativity that they have projected towards you you have taken it all in and it's completely changed your energy And it's amazing how fast and how quickly it can take effect because energy moves between one person and another and it's contagious. And you'll know what I'm saying is correct because it can work the other way. If you go, if you've been feeling a bit low and you go into an environment where everybody's singing and dancing and their energy's high, it automatically lifts you up and you think, oh, wow, that was amazing, you know, and then you're suddenly feeling better. And that's a good thing. But the other way is incredibly toxic. Don't let anyone emotionally dump on you. It is very harmful. And individuals who do this are people who don't take responsibility. And if you allow people to emotionally dump on you, they will drain every bit of your energy. And sometimes it could get to this stage where if you're around people like this a lot, it'll affect your health. And it can actually make you sick because you're getting so much negativity and so much negative energy 
into your system. Your senses pick it all up and take it all inside. And then your body has to find a way to release it. So, that's emotional dumping. Now, there are several things you can do to help you if you've got people like this around you. If you feel, first of all, you have to become aware of it. You have to become aware of what's happening. Acknowledging it is 90% of solving it and being aware of it. So, first of all, you have to think when that happens to you and you come out of a place and you leave a place and you think, God, I have people drained. Look at who the last person you were talking to was. Look at the last person you were involved with and say to yourself, okay, what was that interaction like? Was it a healthy interaction where we, you know, were having a discussion? It was open? It was a give and take? It was healthy? Or was it all about them? You know, did they ask you how your day was, how you were feeling, um, things that were going on in your life? Look at all these things, how your interaction was. And then that will start to tell you where these energies are coming from. Now, sometimes if you're in a workplace, um, you know, you don't want to sort of start problems and you don't want to make things any more difficult for yourself. So if it's in a kind of a work environment that's happening, one of the best things you can do is just start to dis distance yourself from that individual. Don't spend a lot of time, but don't do it in a way that is going to be harmful to yourself. So you've got to be smart. So what you do is still be courteous to that person. Still say hello, good morning, you know, be respectful. You know, just carry on because now you've learned something about that individual that you didn't know before. So what to do is if that person comes up to you then again, be aware and you say, right, okay, here they're coming. I'm not going to freak out. I'm not going to panic. <laughs> I'm just going to take action. So what you can do is, if the person comes up and they start emotionally dumping, don't respond. And what I mean by don't respond is, don't give them any advice. And don't encourage them to stick around. So if someone starts coming up to you and saying oh something like uh, oh god you're never going to believe what's happened to me today I was up all night my husband blah 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 or my daughter whatever then you go god that's awful and then just say something like I hope things get better for you soon and then you say excuse me I have to go to the bathroom or I have to go something, do whatever, do something and just say, and just act very casually and just say, oh, excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom or I need to go and do something else and break the connection, break it. And every time they do that, do the same thing. Now, if you were, say, sitting, say you were sitting somewhere and it was happening, you can get up and leave the room and you say, excuse me, I need to go outside or excuse me, I need to go to the bathroom or whatever. 
and leave the situation, but try and break the connection so that they're not emotionally dumping. And if you do that every time, eventually they'll just stop doing it. Now, sometimes it can be a bit harder with family members and stuff like that. But in my experience, in my experience, what I've done is I learned that if I was out, say, having lunch with a family member and they were an emotional dumper, what I would do is not engage in it. It's one of the most empower the powerful things you can do is the non-engagement. So say you were having lunch with a sibling, say, or something like that, or a friend who, um, who you've recognised now is an emotional dumper and it's harmful to you. So if you're sitting there and they start doing it, do the same thing. Don't engage in the conversation. Don't get drawn into what they're talking about. Don't emotionally get pulled out of it. Pulled into it, sorry. What you want to do is switch off the emotions about the sad story and just connect with the mind in that sort of a situation and be very aware that once they start to do it don't get emotionally pulled in so you can use a phrase which is a very good thing to do where you just repeat the same phrase over and over you don't start talking about the issue you don't get drawn into it and don't give advice because what you want to do is break the energy exchange and it will be difficult at first because you're learning something new and you're doing something different it takes a wee while to get a grip of it but that's fine it's like anything when you're learning something new you don't become an expert at it overnight you've got to practice so if you don't get it right the first time don't beat yourself up just keep doing it and then your brain will automatically start to do it in these situations you'll become more and more aware so you can get a phrase, whatever kind of phrase works for you. What I do if I see people starting to emotionally dump is I usually say something like, um, oh, I'm sorry that that happened to you. Or something like, well, I hope things get better for you. Or you could, if they project something about yourself, you can say something like, um, well, sorry, I don't agree with you. Or I'm sorry you feel that way. And I just repeat that. I don't get drawn in emotionally. Now, if it came to a situation where... And then just try and change the topic, try and change the conversation. But if it's a situation where they're kind of maybe trying to force it on you, or they're overstepping the boundaries, and they really want to get this out, and they don't really care about your boundaries or how you feel, then just get up and go. You don't owe anybody an explanation. You can just go, you can just make up anything. I'm not saying lie, but you can make up anything. You can just say, oh, I don't feel too well, or I don't feel comfortable, and I, I'm just going to go. But do it in a respectful way. Do it in a positive way. Don't bring any more sort of drama onto yourself you know, to make the situation worse. You just say, oh, I'm going to go because I don't feel comfortable. But I'll talk to you another time, so take care, you know. And even if they come up and say what's wrong or whatever, or try to pull you back in emotionally, just say, I'm just going to go. Just, just do a repeated phrase, I'll talk to you later. And just keep going, don't get stressed. Don't get freaked out about it. The first one or two times you do it, you might get a little bit stressed because you're doing something different and you might get a wee bit panic. You might get a wee bit, you know, like anxious or whatever. But the important thing is to just, just, just do it and you'll feel, you'll feel very empowered uh, once you do it. Um, Now, if you feel safe, you can maybe talk to that person about it. I mean, I've had situations in my past where I had a sibling who used to try and emotionally dump on me all the time. And I actually did feel safe to talk to this individual. 
about what she was doing, you know, and I used to say to her, you know, um, when we go out together, I don't feel comfortable because uh, you're emotionally dumping on me and I can't solve your problems. And, you know, I was very respectful. I would, I would be saying in a very gentle, caring way. And um, I, I would say, you know, I don't feel comfortable about it. And, you know, you have to take care of your own problems. And if you need help, you know, you can always see a therapist or talk to someone. And, and I'll support you with that. And even though I did that, it didn't make any difference. It didn't make any difference. She would just still continue to do it. And it was because she was in a very bad place and she just couldn't um, couldn't help herself. It's just She was so stuck in that pattern that every time... Come on, Luna. Come, baby. Come on. Um... So it would just be like her her mind would just take over and, and there was nothing, nothing really that she could do. So she needed help with it. She needed to go to therapy so therapists could help her break that pattern. So that was an extreme case and I had to distance myself from that person because it was very unhealthy for me. And I started to have bad dreams because of so much negativity coming towards me. But once I started to break that pattern with her, come on, let's go. And that individual, and then I just left it to her to decide what she was going to do about it. I didn't have any control. Luna's way down there talking to those dogs. Luna, come on, come, come. She doesn't want to go. Oh, she's coming now. <laughs> she didn't want to go. Looks like a golden retriever. Here she comes. Come on, you. <laughs> uh, and I had to actually let let that go. And um, what happened in the end in that situation was she didn't actually go for help. And you do find that a lot, the people who emotionally dump like that, a lot of the time they won't go for help because uh, they're very insecure and they, they find it incredibly scary to change. And uh, they just sort of maybe stick their head in the sand but use other people to emotionally dump on. So... And that individual, still to this day, has never gone for help. But I had to really distance myself from that person. And that could happen to you as well. You know, you might have to do the same thing. But we're all different and it depends. But another name for these type of people, as you've probably heard it before, is an energy vampire. And uh, it's incredibly toxic. So if you have individuals in, like this in your life, don't let them emotionally dump on you. Have good, strong boundaries. And um, use a little techniques. And don't get emotionally drawn into other people's drama. Don't allow them to emotionally dump on you. And do what it takes to protect your energy. Because as I said, energy is contagious. And you could get up feeling great and then all of a sudden you come across one of these emotional vampires and they drain all your energy and they'll keep draining it and they'll keep doing it because unless they decide to change, it doesn't matter how much advice you give them. It doesn't matter how caring or compassionate an individual you are. They'll just keep doing it because they can't solve their own problems. They want other people to solve their problems for them. So the sooner you do it, the sooner you'll feel better. And do whatever it takes. If you need to get them out of your life, get them out of your life. If you need to distance yourself, distance yourself. 
it just depends so I hope that that helps in some way and I'll talk to you all later so take care and have a great day bye